This could come back to you in a bad way, Sonny. I don't think so. I'm, I'm, I'm actually starting to trust this person. Expecting someone else? Yeah, I was hoping it'd be Lulu with my ice cream. I had uh, kind of a rough day. I'd rather a vodka straight up, but I'll settle for some sugar. Yeah, I'm not Lulu and I don't have any ice cream. But I did bring you something. Look familiar? Detective Falconeri. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this. It's uh, my hard earned badge. I also remember where I left it. Back home safely in my Brooklyn apartment. You know, so as not to uh, blow my cover and get killed. Yeah, I know how dicey it could be to reunite an undercover cop with his badge, but you seem to need a, a reminder about what you're supposed to be doing. And yeah, the bonding with Sonny, even the uh, saving his kid. All that is all a means to one end. Getting us a conviction. Do you honestly think that I need to hear this from you right now? I I'm working as fast as I can to get you whatever you want. You looking at me like you, you want to accuse me of something? I don't know. I don't want to. Jeez, oh, it, it, it's very touching the amount of confidence and faith you have in me. It wouldn't be the first time that an undercover was co-opted. Oh, come on, I'm not co-opted. I hope that's true. But you're giving me cause for concern. You're making me wonder. You're making me wonder if, if you'll be able to go to distance when the time comes to throw your uh, your new buddies in prison. Have you spoken with Spinelli? No. Did you want me to? Uh, if you wouldn't mind, mm -hmm. just checking in with him, making sure he's okay. He's not suffering from any post-traumatic stress or anything. Yeah. It was pretty crazy. Do you want to tell me about it? You want to hear about it? Did I just ask? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um, as you know, I volunteered to take warehouse duty mm -hmm. from Dominic, and I was already running a little late, so I called Bernie, and he had Spinelli meet me at the warehouse with the paperwork. Yeah. And when I arrived, Spinelli was already under fire. God, the kid must have been... You must have been terrified. Yeah, I can only imagine. And then I got hit. And he... Spinelli was awesome. He, we both knew that it was bad. It was clear. And I practically begged him to get the hell out of there for his own safety. But he wouldn't leave me. He stayed by me all the time. And we stumbled a couple of blocks to... I don't know, some stairwell or something, and that's where Spinelli called 911. And I, I don't know, it, it gets hazy after that. I don't remember much. But I remember being in my room in ICU and waiting to go into surgery and just tell, you know, things look bad. My chances weren't good. I see everybody's face. And I thought a lot about what it would be like to die, to, to leave this world. And I thought about what I'd miss. And the only thing I could think about crazy. He's not stupid. He could call your bluff about Johnny. His choice. Hey, is his choice? <laughs> Olivia could get caught in the crossfire. You don't think he could wake up tomorrow pissed off and take Olivia out and forget about Johnny for now? Did you even think about that? Or is this all based on uh, emotion, this decision? You're the one making this about my feelings for Olivia, which is basically a non-issue. Yeah, I've had my fantasy thoughts about, you know, picking up where we left off and, you know, old times sake. But you know what? She's made it clear she doesn't want anything to do with me. But there's Johnny. He's the best leverage we have okay, against why not, Anthony. Why not use him as leverage and make him an ally because he's been loyal. Uh, he can help. Forget Johnny Zakara. That's my. F that's it. That's. Uh, I don't want to talk about this anymore.
if Anthony goes after uh, anybody under my protection, your friend Johnny is no more. I know. And we agreed to keep things casual. And like you said to me the other day, that's not how I feel anymore. Okay. I want you to hear me saying this, John. I am making an enormous world of trouble for you. Don't be ridiculous. Look, Sonny's got it in for you. And it's because of me. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself, okay? <sighs> I'm serious. No offense, but Sonny had it in for me well before you came back here. And even if all of his animosity is because of you, so be it. I work for the guy. He doesn't dictate my personal yeah, that's life. That's exactly what I'm saying. You work for him. So he could keep sending you into situations that you might not walk out of. Okay. I almost died tonight. Yeah. I get it. It's scary and it's upsetting and it obviously has you very raw and unsettled, but the answer is not to walk away from what we really feel. Okay. Why so? Why don't you tell me what is the answer? Simple. I live in the moment. I treat every moment as if it's the only one we have. That sounds simple to you. Yes, it does. Because to me, that sounds like a pretty tall order. Well, then you just let me take the lead and I'll show you the way, okay? So far, in service to this assignment, I'm just talking up to this point. I've taken a gunshot to the side, a speeding car to the gut. My mother freaks out more and more every day. I mean, damage control with her is pretty much a, a full-time job. And you have the nerve to walk in here and ask me where my loyalties are? Screw you, Ronnie. That's a nice head of steam, but you're not going to deflect this. What real evidence have you gathered against Corinthos? He started talking about strategies what he's going to do to retaliate against anthony see now you're saying something worth hearing did sonny come right out and state criminal intent you know what his intention was clear believe me did sonny incriminate himself look i wasn't wearing a wire ronnie okay so nothing that sonny said we could use in court anyway so why don't we just let it be no we're not going to let it be okay what are you holding back what did sonny tell you out and I felt I'm so sorry it's a bad time no 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 you know what uh, my buddy Ronnie here was just about to leave think about what we discussed there get your head on straight Dominic wow you had another angry person you really have a gift don't you yeah don't worry about him was that ice cream for me yes I took pity on you even you don't deserve the wrath of epiphany what is this a necklace? Let me see. 